Hey guys, how's it going? It's going pretty good for me. Alright, this video is up really late. Actually, I had some other stuff to do and I, won't, I don't know if I'll make a video tomorrow just because uh, I have some crap to get done for school and stuff, but um, I just want to talk about this one thing, okay? It was just announced, so I figured I might as well make a video. I mean, I, I wanted to talk about it and I can give you guys my opinion in one full video now. Alright, so Sony's PlayStation VR has been priced and it's going to be at four hundred dollars and it's coming in October so it was announced the final pricing um, I believe there's this event going on or they just announced it randomly I I can't really remember what it was but uh, they announced the final pricing obviously it is two hundred dollars less than the Oculus Rift Facebook's Oculus Rift I should say and four hundred dollars less than the HTC Vive and but unlike the Rift and the Vive it does not require a high-end gaming PC. All you need to do is connect the headset to the console and you are set. You are good to go. You're golden. It works. All right, so you don't have to spend like 1500 bucks on a comp on a gaming PC or whatever, $1100. I don't whatever, regardless. You don't have to spend that much money on a PC. But if you kind of do the math, if you want to get the the uh, full experience here, uh the price is kind of misleading. So, it does not include the PlayStation camera which uh, uh, does like the head tracking so you basically have to get that in order for it to even work and it and if you want to get the full experience the whole the whole works the whole 10 9 10 yards whatever you want uh, it does not include the PlayStation move controllers those little glowing bulbs dildos I'm just kidding they're not dildos but <laughs> they're just like glowing controllers and they're about on Amazon apparently they're at $50 so with the camera that's listed at 60 at Best Buy apparently according to this article and the the thinger the move controllers two of them because you're gonna need two for both hands right so there's that and that's an extra hundred and sixty dollars right there out of the gate because you have to get two of them 50 bucks piece which still undercuts the Oculus Rift by 50 bucks and the Vibe by 240 dollars so really it's basically the same price as the Oculus Rift if you're holding out on waiting for it if you want to get the full experience quote unquote you really don't need the move controllers you can just use it for head tracking if you really wanted to but honestly who's gonna do that it's kind of that'd be kind of a useless thing and it's gonna be a 1920 by 1280 display uh, split across both eyes which means it's 960 and 1080 in each eye and it's lower it's a little bit lower resolution than the Rift and Vive which the screen resolutions per eye are 1080 by 1200 are you really gonna notice that not really but uh, Sorry, phone was going off there. <laughs> Hold on. All right, we're good. And so well, everything's all said and done. All right, so you have everything. You got the the camera, the PlayStation VR, the Move controllers, and the PlayStation Four without any games, mind you, without any games yet. You're in this thing nine hundred and a ten and ten dollars. That is a lot of money, okay, for that. And whew, I don't know if I could justify spending that because I mean, if you already don't own the PlayStation Four, which obviously I do. And you're saying, oh, I already bought the PS4 a couple years ago. Well, all right, you're still telling me that you didn't want to, you're not putting this same amount of money in. You will be. It's just because, oh, I bought it a couple years ago. It doesn't, is, is justifying that I'm not spending that amount of money on it, you know? But it's still far less expensive than getting the Oculus Rift with a, uh, like a decent gaming PC for $1,500, $1,800. I, I don't know about this pricing, guys. I, I think it should have been around the $200 mark, especially since it was so misleading in order for you to get... like You have to have the camera, which I bought on eBay. There is other ways around it. You can get the cheaper camera. I think I paid like 40 bucks for it, brand new. It works just fine, you know, brand new. Decent. And the Move controllers, I already own one of them, so I mean, in fact, I can only have to buy one more, which I'm not a big fan of the whole Move controller. I, I'd rather use the hands, you know, like using your hands like the tracking like down to like the connect something like that along those lines it doesn't seem to be the case at least not in this this edition edition of the playstation vr headset the whole problem i'm having with this whole whole thing is all right sony has a track record of not supporting their their uh products vita psp the psp sell, sold very well you know very very well for a while they just didn't support it after a couple years you know and I feel like the same is going to happen here. The PlayStation Move sold decent because the the whole Wii craze was was in. 
All right, so they released the move. That sells pretty well, I think. I believe I could have been wrong. I could be wrong in that, but they supported it and they just kind of left it, like left it hanging. The veto with MLB 16, the show saying they're not making a game for it anymore. In 2016, it only the Vita is only not even four years old. Well, it's about four years old now, but they're not making a game for it this year. Not even a digital download only game. All right, you got like the PSP. They just kind of killed off because I think it's because it was mainly because it got dated. It's not because it sucked. But I don't know. It could I don't know. Sony just has a record of not supporting their their products in the long term. So two three years if this PlayStation VR does not sell well, well you're fucked. You're out. 400, 500, 600 bucks for this VR headset. And what if what if it doesn't even work as advertised at all? Like it just comes in and just sucks. You know. I don't know, guys. This this whole VR thing craze i think it's going to pass over in a couple years and people are going to kind of forget about it i mean it's a cool feature to have but it's not going to be successful in the gaming industry i don't see it i people have dreamed of having virtual reality for the longest time and it's finally here and it's to me personally I, I wanted it since i was a little kid you know like virtual reality in a video game would be the coolest thing ever it's actually upon us and i could care less if it's out or not you know but whoo this pricing, I, it, it, it's very misleading. Let me let me tell you that much. Anyways, it's you're gonna be. It's basically gonna be six hundred dollars for the pricing of this thing. You're like you might as well not even step around because of the tax on it, and you you, you don't have any games for it. So you're in a, probably well over eleven hundred dollars, depending upon what games are made for it and what games are supported. A lot of, but a lot of it to me seems like it's going to be indie games, and they said over 200 games are in development for it. And you know what? Half of those or three quarters probably will never even see the market. And a lot of the, and probably 99.9% .9 of those games are indie games. There might be one third-party AAA title that's making virtual reality something, but they're not going to waste their time on it because obviously they want to see if it's going to sell well first. And if it does, well, oh, have at it. I mean, it's your money. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money, really, to be honest with you guys. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I I don't think virtual reality is going to be a huge, huge deal after like maybe two years. By 2018, it'll phase out and die, and it'll be back to standard gaming like on the TV. I don't think third-party developers are going to support it at all because they're going to, they just want whatever. They want to focus on their core game, and they don't want to focus on accessories and amenities of the game, you know? But, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments on the pricing and everything. I, I'd like, I'd, I'll respond to you or whatever. And I just want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this whole whole thing. Because the pricing, obviously, was just announced today a little while ago. So, all right, guys, make sure to like, comment, friend, and subscribe. And talk to me on Twitch or on Facebook. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.